what is up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the roundup as i update you guys on all the latest news rumors and pro wrestling and we got a lot to talk about today following monday night raw and smackdown live this week and as we head into the wwe super showdown event in about 10 days which i don't know how i'm gonna be watching that show because it's gonna be a five in the morning and on top of everything the day before that wwe 2k19 comes out so i guess i'm probably gonna be up playing the game and streaming it on twitch while i watch the pay-per-view on the background we definitely gonna need a lot of coffee for that night so it should be very interesting but some way somehow we're gonna watch it anyways nonetheless let's get into this roundup and i want to start off with a rumor that was a pretty hot on monday and that is the fact that Paige was backstage on monday night raw which is unusual considering she is part of the smackdown live brand as the manager and it has been revealed by pw insider that there was a motive for this as it is being reported that she was behind the scenes on monday night raw as she was actually backstage shooting for some survivor series related material it's unclear why she was filming but the reports indicate that it might have something to do with a package they need time to put together for that event baron corbin was also reported to have been a part of whatever they were doing for survivor series related backstage so the speculation right now is that wwe is already planning some kind of brand versus brand deal for the survivor series event which of course is no surprise this actually ended up happening last year as we got pretty much every single champion facing each other from smackdown and monday night raw the interesting thing about this is that we have gotten so many reports indicating that we could be getting some type of faction warfare at this year's event so maybe wwe is already planning some huge event or the full storyline heading into the pay-per-view and as you guys probably thinking right now this is unusual due to the fact that wwe usually doesn't plan ahead that much so they must be planning for something bigger than what we think especially because baron corbin was part of it moving on to some other news and we're talking about the next wwe pay-per-view that is coming up quick or i should say one of the next ones because as you guys know there's a bunch of them that are coming soon and we're talking about the crown jewel event in saudi arabia which as you guys know wwe is getting a ton of money for all of the shows that they're handling over there and this week we got a major reports indicating that hulk hogan is going to be appearing at this event in some type of faction and mike johnson of pw insider ended up reporting that saudi arabia wanted him the first time for the greatest royal rumble and of course they want him now so much so that we even have representative of saudi arabia hyping up the show with images of hulk hogan and obviously this hasn't been confirmed by the WWE, but we're getting so many teases that it's very likely that it's going to happen. Another big name that is currently rumored as well is Ric Flair, as again, the prince who booked the greatest Royal Rumble requested a ton of names from his era of wrestling. And it might come down to whether Ric Flair is medically okay to make the trip, but it looks promising that we will see him at the event. Now, of course, Ric Flair, probably Hulk Hogan himself, they're not gonna be wrestling so the question is what exactly they're going to be doing we know that there's going to be a tournament at this event so i wouldn't be surprised if hulk hogan is the one handling the trophy alongside with rick flair moving on to some other news uh, coming from pw insider wwe could possibly book big segment on monday night raw next week that will see triple h face off with the undertaker with Shawn michaels being caught in the middle wwe has already announced Shawn michaels for the event and reports indicate that the undertaker is also scheduled to be at the show indicating that the segment will likely happen it should be very interesting to see whether or not it happens and it should be interesting to see if Shawn michaels get into the action because of the multiple rumors right now that Shawn michael is going to be returning and the latest in regards to this is very interesting because rest of Oats is pretty much confirming the fact that we are going to be getting Shawn michaels very soon competing in a wwe ring as they ended up reporting the following here Hearing that Shawn Michaels will indeed wrestle more than just the upcoming rumor event, which is the one from Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia, which is rumored that Shawn Michaels will team up with Triple H to go against The Undertaker and Kane in a two versus two tag team match. But yes, they're reporting that a one on one match versus The Undertaker is also planned. While some wanted at the chase field for the Royal Rumble, they're being told that the discussion is centered around Survivor Series in 
LA, which is obviously incredibly soon. So are we going to be getting Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker at the Survivor Series event? That's even crazy to talk about. But at the same time, not because we know that WWE is making an insane amount of money from these international shows that they could pay Shawn Michaels literally anything that he wants for that quote unquote one more match, especially against The Undertaker. So get ready, guys, because I mean, we're going to be seeing it no matter what. At least that's what it seems like it at this point. And moving on to some other news, we're talking about somebody who just broke a pretty impressive record as Kofi Kingston ended up setting a new record this week with the most days spent as a WWE Tag Team title holder at 954 days. Kofi Kingston ended up thanking all of his former partners, R-Truth, Evan Bourne, Big E, Xavier Woods, and CM Punk. And the interesting part of this one is that CM Punk actually reply and we know that he doesn't reply to anything wrestling related especially nothing related to wwe superstars cm punk ended up giving him a thumbs up but the main focus is kofi kingston breaking that insane record which is pretty cool so massive congrats to him and well deserved now can we move on and actually give him a wwe championship run because he definitely deserves it ever since 2009 make it happen please moving on to some other news and i want to give you guys a quick update in regards to Liv morgan who as you guys saw on monday night Raw, she ended up suffering a possible concussion after pretty much getting knocked out by brie bella on monday night raw so during the show brie bella was doing the yes kick and she ended up kicking Liv morgan right in the face knocking her out for a couple of seconds pro wrestling she ended up reporting that morgan was being treated for a possible concussion which has been confirmed and of course for the time being she hasn't been wrestling in wwe live events following the match brie bella ended up tweeting out the following every match on raw is an opportunity for us to entertain our fans our intentions as wwe superstars is to win the match never injure our opponent thinking about lip morgan tonight the only update that we gotten from wwe themselves is that they did confirm that she suffered a concussion and that lip morgan is now going through proper before being allowed back in the ring i will certainly continue to follow this story and keep you guys up to date right here on the roundup and the last report that i want to discuss in this video is in regards to the shield and starting off with dean ambrose himself which as you guys noticed on monday night road wwe is already teasing a heel turn for dean ambrose as we had pretty much Dolph ziggler just laying out every single fact on monday night raw making dean ambrose realize a couple of things that will ultimately lead him to turning on Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. So one of the biggest speculation right now is the fact that Dean Ambrose probably going to turn heel at the WWE Super Showdown event. Which if you think about it, it certainly looks like it's going to happen. But reports are indicating that this is just a swerve. Even the Wrestling Observer ended up indicating that because WWE is teasing it, it basically means that it's not going to be happening anytime soon. The idea is the fact that it is way too obvious for it to be happening in the next upcoming coming week so chances are the wwe is just teasing it for it to not happening and then kind of make us forget about it until it actually does happen which it will come unexpectedly and moving on to something in regards to another member of the show and that is roman reigns as a fan just recently came out indicating that during monday night raw his sign got confiscated his sign which said roman sucks and interestingly enough it says that it was confiscated by wwe staff not necessarily security in the arena to add to that another twitter user asked the owner of the sign if anyone from security had told him why the sign was taken from him in an interesting twist he wasn't given much of a reason but they did at least advise him that someone doesn't like it obviously very general and vague but chances are that somebody in gorilla position whether it is vince mcmahon triple h stephanie mcmahon or whoever they probably just didn't like the fact that the sign was in the arena with that being said that is disappointing because if i could bring a sign that says john cena sucks i should be able to bring a sign that says anybody else sucks and i don't necessarily think that roman reigns sucks i'm just saying that a certain signs like this it's not gonna go well with the live crowd i don't want to go to an arena in which i gotta think about what sign i'm gonna bring so that it doesn't get confiscated obviously if it says some type of an appropriate word then that's understandable but if it is a sign like 
like this, the fan should definitely be allowed to bring it into the arena and just have it raised above his or her head if that is what they want. With that being said guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Certainly a very interesting situation. Thank you for joining me and to be fully up to date on all the latest as such as this round up, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. Windows to 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to see you. Dig it.